the Umayyads were the first dynasty in Islamic history. The new empire expanded enormously under their rule. By 711, the Umayyads had spread Islam as far as Spain in the west and India in the east. As the language of the Quran, Arabic became the lingua franca, which was to bind together this vast empire, particularly after it was adopted as the official language of government under Caliph Abd al-Malik. The Dome of the Rock was erected in Jerusalem at this time, and along with the Al-Aqsa Mosque there, remains to this day one of the most important architectural monuments of the Islamic world. The splendid glass mosaics inside the dome contain the oldest surviving monumental Arabic inscription. At first, there were green golden mosaics on the outside, but restoration during the 16th century replaced these with the Ottoman tiles we see today, making the building appear blue. Despite all its importance, Jerusalem was not to be the Umayyad capital. This honor fell to Damascus, a city of great antiquity with a continuously sustained urban tradition. The Roman water systems were restored and maintained, and colonnades were redeveloped into markets, becoming the famous souk. In Damascus, the Umayyads built the great mosque inside the structure, which had once been the central Roman temple. The mosque's architectural form was developed from that of the basilica, a Roman building type that Christians had already reinterpreted when building their churches. But now the architects modified the design again, rotating the main axis of the building by 90 degrees so that the ranks of the faithful would be oriented towards Mecca for their prayers. The facades of the building were decorated with marvellous marble cladding and glass mosaics, the most splendid of their age. The Umayyads built dozens of so-called castles in the desert. Each of these had its own individual design. On the whole, the Umayyads utilised much of the regional knowledge and local traditions within their empire in designing the new Islamic architecture of everything from mosques to markets and in promoting the craft traditions for the objects of daily life. Coptic, Anatolian and Byzantine elements were mixed with Syrian, Egyptian, Iranian and Mesopotamian forms. The exact function of the desert castles remains unknown. Some appear to have functioned as towns, like Anjar in Lebanon, with a market street, palace, mosque and dwellings for the population. Others were centres for the caravan trade. Yet others were the centres of agricultural estates. The lovely painted Kuzair Amra in Jordan was more likely a luxury hideaway, seen here as imagined by a modern artist. But the most splendid of the palaces would have been that at Mashatta, a palace which was never finished. It was donated to Berlin in 1903 by the Ottoman Sultan and is now reconstructed there. It may have been used by the Caliph or members of his court as a meeting place for local leaders. It was recently restored by a German-Jordanian team. The Umayyad Caliphs remained in power for only a brief 90 years, but they'd set the course for important cultural developments and left a fascinating heritage.